Hi, I'm Frank Gagnon for Windu. Uh, I made I made this post thing because uh, the, the too, too much wind on the basic clip. Uh, I just want to introduce our prototype number 2.05. Uh, for those who follow us, it's you can see it's much thinner arms. The previous uh, uh, arms make too much drags on the system, and it's damper the overall efficiency. So what you see is uh, only two uh, two arms face to face. The real uh, wind turbine is going to have f four levels of a turbine like this. So today I want to talk to you about the uh, importance to match the size of the turbine with the rest of the component. There is no magic in the wind energy. There is physical law, it is called Betts law, that say that you cannot harness more than 55% of the energy of the wind. Giant wind turbine reach in the good condition 50%, which is very good. And uh, average, it's a bit less than that. The highest wind turbine like us uh, can also reach 50% in good condition. It's on average a bit less efficient than the giant three blade wind turbine, maybe 5% less, 10% less, depending on condition. If you want to harness more energy, you need to have a larger turbine. And the giant wind turbine, they do that uh, exactly since many years. And especially when they have lower uh, wind side, they're going to increase the size of the turbine beside the size of the engine. Um, so in a standard wind turbine is going to harness 3, 3.5 square meter of wind per kilowatt. And when they make a low wind uh, wind turbine, they're going to harness 4, 4.5 square meter per kilowatt and stop. This is a bit more expensive, but it's very profitable. So you see that more and more in, in the wind energy. Now we're gonna have four sizes of wind turbine. And uh, if we come back to the giant wind turbine at 4.5 square meter uh, per kilowatt, at R20 kilowatt uh, wind turbine equivalent could, should be 90 square meter. This is the version for the low wind side. So you see that our smallest model is 115 square meter. So it's a bit more. But of course, there is less wind energy as at our height. We are lower, so depending on site, we're going to have from 10 to 40% less wind energy because we are lower. So we can say that our Model 4 is the equivalent of standard wind turbine uh, for high wind. Uh, site. And the model 3 is equivalent to giant wind turbine for low wind site. Uh, so we're going to produce a one, meg a 1 megawatt of our model 3 uh, wind turbine, going to produce quite the same thing as 1 megawatt uh, of large wind turbine for low wind site. Now the model 2, it's a 50% more uh, surface, harnessing surface. So it's going to produce almost 50% more energy on the same site. That's depending on the average wind of the site. Because even if you go to model 1, it's, which is twice the size of model 3, uh, you're going to produce two times more energy. But in reality, if you look at the number, the cutting speed is going to be lower, but the cutout average wind speed is going to be lower also. So if you have a good wind side, maybe it's not interesting to have such a large wind turbine because you, uh, you, you're going to lose a lot of energy. And of course, when the wind speed is higher, the energy is higher in, in the wind. So there is four models that have that going to reach their 20 kilowatt at different wind speed, 7 meter for 7 meter per second for the Model 1, up to 10 meter per second for the Model 4. And this is why we're going to be able to fit, depending on the, on, on, on the wind profile of our customer site, uh, the, best, the, the best choice, the best uh, solution. And in some case, depending on some sp specific need for our customer, we may even have two sides of wind turbine 
on the same uh, on the same field. So thank you for your attention.